play a high caliber game, that 18 don't mean nothing, man. You got to put up 25 or something. You know, you got to put up 25 or something. But, like, Giannis played, he played like he's trying to win another championship. You know what I mean? That's exactly how he played. You know, and, 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 you know, it wasn't even just the 42 points. He also got 10 rebounds. You know what I mean? He also got 10 rebounds. And one stat that people don't pay attention to, but really should, because I pay attention to this. A lot of people don't really pay attention to the, the field goal percentage as much, as much. Like, the 30 point percentage they do. You hear all the time. He's shooting 40% for the three. He's shooting 38% for the three. That's, that's amazing. Right? And the only time you really hear about the, the field goal percentage when it's like a high number, like like 90% or something like that, you know, some, something crazy, almost 100%. Giannis only missed five shots. That should be talked about. 12 for 17 shooting. That's crazy. 12 for 17 shooting? You only missed five shots? You only missed five shots. Go ahead, Giannis, with your bad stuff, man. This man, this man, 42 points, 10 rebounds, only missed five shots. Great win for the Bucks. They're, they're really, it's getting to that point where people are really starting to pay attention to the NBA right now. I think the players are starting to pay attention to the NBA right now, too. It's always around Christmas time. It's always around this time of the year where, where everybody's like, all right, like, okay, now it's time to wake up. Now I'm going to establish myself. As the top dog in this league. Or it might be a mediocre player. I'm going to stab myself to make sure I don't get traded in two months. Regardless, whatever the reason is, we you see a you see a difference. You see a difference. Cause first month of first month of the, the season, I was already seeing players taking rest. You know, I was I was already seeing that. Or like like some type of injury where they're gonna be they're gonna be out for three weeks, but that same injury in May they play. I mean, so I'm seeing a difference now. I'm seeing a difference now. You know, what I mean, everybody's everybody's waking up. Everybody's waking up. Football season is about to, is about to um is about to end. Christmas game is about to start. And NBA season, ladies and gentlemen, has just begun. And another sign that it, it, it begun. We're, we're starting to acknowledge when players like, like Damian Lillard, man. Congratulations to Damian, Damian Lillard. Just just pass um, Clyde Dresser, you know, on points of, of you know, most points of the, of the, the um, franchise points record. For the Portland Trail Trailblazers, this is really important to a lot of people. And I'm not gonna say it's important to me, but I'm, it's important enough for me to acknowledge it because it is so hard to see these type of records because nobody stays on the, stays on the same team. How many times have we has we been yelling, screaming, "Damn, get off this team!" CJ McCollum, he got off the team. All right, cool. Damn, your turn. What you still doing here, Dame? They ain't going nowhere, Dame. Too good to get to get high draft picks. Not good enough to win a championship. And nobody is going to. Nobody who has options is going to proudly sign a contract to play in Portland. Not players who have options. They going to L.A. They are going to Chicago. They going to Miami. They're going to New York. They're going to Brooklyn. They're not going to Portland. So you're not going to get high-level free agents. You're not going to get high-level draft picks. You basically is going to stay on that team until your career is over. Or until it's the last years of your career where the team's going to hurt, hurt, try to put you on the contender, do a trade, put you on the contender, so you can, so you can get a ring playing 10 minutes a game, you know what I mean, not in the game in the fourth quarter, you know what I mean, and, and ride the bus until you get that ring, you know, but you don't have to do that. You're still good enough and young, and young enough and talented enough where you can force a trade, go to a contender, 
and be one of the reasons why y'all got this ring, but they ain't, they ain't won't do it. And because of that loyalty, because of that stubbornness, because of his com comfortability of that franchise and that team and that city, he's able to bring franchise records. You're not going to see a lot of franchise records broken. Can you imagine if Kevin, if Kevin Durant stayed on OKC? Can you imagine how many franchise records he would have broke? Shaw Kemp records would have been out the window. Gary Payton's records would have been out the window. It would have been so many franchise records out the window if he would have stayed stayed on on that team. We don't see this. Man, Cleveland, if LeBron was stayed on Cleveland the whole time, man, would Mark Price who? Mark Price who? He would have broke all those records. Franchise records. We don't see this a lot because nobody stays on the same team. Dame Lillard was able to break a franchise record that, that was held by Clyde Dressler. Clyde Dressler, man, Clyde Dressler was, he was Portland's Kobe Bryant in, in the early 90s now. He put up baskets. He put up points. He put up points. You know, when you, when you, when you think of somebody who's going to, who's going to, Who's gonna put up baskets at that time? You think of Michael Jordan? You you th you think of you know you you think of Mark Price some somewhat somewhat. You might even think of Charles Barkley somewhat, but you gonna think of Clyde Dresser just as much as you think of Michael Jordan as a player that's gonna put up baskets, that's gonna put that ball in the hoop. You know that's so for him to break that record. That means he had to play a lot of years for the Portland Trail Blazers. And that's what he did. He played a lot of years for the Portland Trail Blazers. I admire his, his loyalty. I admire, I admire that type of stubbornness of Fortunary. That type of loyalty, that type of stubbornness might stop this man from getting an NBA championship ring. I hope I'm wrong. Well, everybody. Thank you, thank you for another, thank you for listening to another episode. Um, tonight's game, we got some more NBA. You know, we got my Knicks playing the Warriors. Can't, can't wait to see what happened there. You know, can't wait to see what happened there. Kind of, kind of worry about that. But Knicks been doing great, man. Knicks, we, Knicks won seven in a row. Go, go New York. Y'all won seven in a row. Can we make it eight tonight? Can we make it eight tonight? And I'm actually really looking forward to see what Jokic do tonight. Cause especially after that 40 point 27 rebound game, that triple double, you know, whatever, whatever his his crazy, you know, <laughs> 2K on on rookie mode stats was, you know, whatever it was, I'm kind of I'm kind of looking forward to to see what what he, what he do tonight. Cause I got a feeling he's 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 gonna be good. He's not he's not gonna be as good. Of course not. Nobody gonna do that twice. That's straight up video game. That's that's on cheat mode. But he's making it. Very, he's making watching demo games a little more interesting. You know what I mean? Like, and I look talk about this. Talk about the, this game for what fifteen seconds now. I ain't even mentioned Jaw yet. They they playing Memphis tonight. I ain't even mentioned Jaw. You know I they even mention him. Jokic has really became like the blockbuster player to talk about for this season. We talked about Ja in the in the beginning of this season because of what he did in the playoffs and what he what he was doing last year. But Jokic is starting to become like talk about me now. It's time for y'all to talk about me because I'm pulling the Wood Chamberlain numbers and I'm getting I'm I'm getting Chris Paul assists and I'm a big man. I'm I'm get I'm passing to the little man to get my assist. Like, yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to see what Jokers do tonight. I'm looking forward to see what what my Knicks do against the Warriors to defend the champs at the Garden. 
And we all know people like to become superstars when they play at the Garden. But maybe it's too soon to say this is starting to look like a little bit of a different Nick team than the past few years. Is Jalen Bronson the reason for that? Maybe. Let's see what he do tonight. Hey, y'all take care. Y'all have a good night. Every day. Every day. My, my, my episode might be 40 minutes. It might be 20, 20 minutes. It might be 30 minutes. We, we never know. Whatever Whatever's going on in the in the world of sports, I'm here to talk about it. But I'm, but I'm going to be here consistently. Get used to this voice. I'm Saquon Peterkin. This was misunderstood. And I'll talk to y'all guys tomorrow. Peace.